of yours. Uh, six former uh, Work and Pension Secretaries disagree with you, um, Andrew, including Ian Duncan Smith. Um, are they wrong? I think that this is a balance. It has to be judged very carefully. Uh, I think there are people that quite like getting the extra £20, um, but maybe they don't need it. So there needs to be How do you know? proper... Because people are all different in different circumstances. So you can't box everyone into the same category, but the government has an overall responsibility to deal with the national finances as well. And that's what they must now do. So Ian Duncan says wrong. I think that there needs to be a balance to this. He may not be wrong in all situations, but to have this blanket benefit uplifted permanently, I don't think is sustainable. Well, I'm going to defend Ian Duncan Smith and say he's absolutely right. And we're taking £20 away from the people who can least afford to lose it. And nobody who's on universal credit would be not in need of more money, I can assure you of that. I mean, what may be a cup of coffee and a nice slice of cake to some people, 20 quid, is actually food for a week for other people. This is not the time to be doing this. They should have that £20. It should be a definite well, should it be blanket ongoing. Permit? Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if need be, yeah. No and, flexibility. And exactly. It should be there. Twenty pound is nothing. It's nothing to the likes of people who can afford twenty pound to go out and, like I said, have a cup of coffee and a nice piece of cake. But it's a lifeline mm. to people who are actually on universal credit and struggling to put meal on the table. Are you so, prepared yes. to take that lifeline away, as Carolyn puts it? No, no. As I've said, if someone is in desperate need and the family really need that support, there should be a safety net. There should be flexibility in the system. What I'm against is government giving handouts perma hand permanently, well, whatever you want to call it, but to give benefits permanently to people uh, without proper assessment as to whether they need that. And do you make it sound like a charity? That. It's not charity. This is a basic standard of living for people, for whatever reason, have not got an individual... Another way, another way of income. As I say, if someone's income. in genuine need, the charity. government should be there for them. It's not charity. But it's not a handout. I'm, I'm very sceptical of, of, of blanket benefits like this. I think it should be targeted at people in genuine need. Right.